Hey everybody, back with another video, and today's video is going to be a question and answer. Um, question comes from Ma As. That's capital A, small A, space, capital A, S. Ma As. It says, hi guy, great videos. I'm just starting, out, starting to learn, and, <clears throat> and your series is helping out a lot. Do you have any recommendations for electrical meters to troubleshoot typical electrical problems in the house? I'm looking through Amazon, but there are so many choices and price ranges. Thank you. So, my as this video is for you. The meter that I use every single day, or whenever I need, I mean, this is my go-to meter, is, is a field piece. This field piece comes in this carry case. Also, it's kind of nice because it has enough... <clears throat> I guess I should have cleaned off my bench here, you got cameras and everything else all over the place. Um, this case is kind of nice, it's a little little extra uh, big so you can you can store some tools in there. Uh, I usually also carry uh, some jumper wires and things of that sort so I can jump out uh, switches and stuff when I'm doing some diagnostics. But this meter is uh, a field piece HB74. It does AC volts up to 600. It does DC volts up to 600. It also does millivolts. It does, uh, it checks hertz, has a continuity tester, it has phase monitoring on it. It also does AC amps, DC amps, ohms, and microfarads. And this is a nice one, especially if you do diagnostics on equipment with motors and such where there's um, uh, capacitors, you can test them right from your meter. Otherwise, you're going to have to have a, uh, a separate meter uh, like this to just check capacitance of capacitors. So, uh, for the most part, this one is my go-to meter and uh, does everything I need it to do. However, there are some other uh, options out there that I use, and I'll show you those in a minute. But um, this meter will also uh, comes comes with. Um, amp probe, you can check, you know, you can wrap around wires and check your amp draw on, uh, on loads. Uh, along with this, you can also get, uh, let's see, carbon monoxide detector, you can get a, uh, um, airflow meters, temperature probes, and, 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 and lots of other things. Um, I don't even know what all comes, what, what all accessories, uh, come with this, but this is the only one that I use, so. So that's, uh, this one here is, is probably for the average person or consumer, um, this one's probably a little overkill. You're probably not going to need this and this is going to, this is going to put you back hundreds of dollars. I, I think I bought it 10 years ago, uh, for, for over 200 bucks. So, um, that's probably something you don't want to go for, but it's what I use. Okay, this meter here is a little lower on the uh, price scale. Um, and, and it's really, really user friendly. It has three set or four settings off, volts, amps, and continuity. And it also it has a tone with the continuity. So this one is kind of automatic. So if you want to do volts, it's not AC, DC, it's just stick it to whatever you want to check the voltage, and there you go. If you want to check your car battery, boom, there you go. You want to check a double A battery, boom, there you go. You don't have to worry about what your meter set at because it will automatically select the proper scale for you. Um, AC amps, oh let me get back to volts here real quick, you flip it over, um, this one here has a nice feature, you can stick the probe in there and this one here, so what you can do is you can push, you know, you can go like this, you can <clears throat> you can you can go around and, and, and still look at whatever you're, you're touching, so this is, that's pretty slick on there. Put those back. All right, so we go to amps, and again, if you're che if you're checking a wire, you can just put that right through there. You see the little hash marks there. You want to get your wire down into the crotch of that thing, and you'll check your amp draw uh, simply by putting it on the amp scale. And then, if you want to check continuity to test a switch or or uh, a continuity of a wire or something like that, you just put on continuity, and it has a it has a tone. It also um, not only is it continuity, it's also ohms. It'll give you an actual ohm reading. So this is a nice meter 
it's small, it's compact. I use this one a lot as well if I just want to throw a meter in my pocket and not carry that big case around with me. So this is uh, my second go-to meter. Now, this one is a Universal Enterprises, a UEI, um, I think it's is it UEI, just Universal Enterprises. Anyway, this is a little cheaper meter, um, and, and this one's a nice meter too. It has a, a amp meter on it. Um, you can go data hold. This one's a little different. They, uh, they do push button here, so you can put data hold, peak hold. Which, you know, if you notice, this one didn't have, um, it has hold, but it doesn't have peak hold. That's just a data hold. Um, you got AC amps uh, up to 20, AC amps up to 400, uh, DC volts up to 20 volts, AC volts up to 750. It also does, and this is one of the main reasons I keep this one around, is it does temperature up to 1400 degrees. by using this little probe right here and it comes in quite handy I use it quite a lot so mainly I use this one as a as a temperature probe but I've also used it as uh, intended for the electrical side of things so and I don't know how much this meter cost it is a Universal Enterprises DCP 410 if you want to look that up all right Last but not least, I think I forgot to bring it over here. It should be sitting. Where is it? Where did I put it? Hang on a second. I'll be right back. All right. This is a Harbor Freight cheapie. Now. Let's go over all the options that this one has. And let me tell you, the price is right. If you spend full price on this, you might spend 10 bucks. You get it on sale, you might spend seven. If you watch for the if you watch for these ads, you just might get it for free with a purchase of something else. So I have several of these only because it's free when I go to Harbor Freight to check something out. I buy a little something and I get one of these. Um, in any event, <clears throat> this does DC volts up to 1,000 volts. None of those meters did that. I don't know, uh, you know, maybe if you had a golf cart or, or you know, some solar setups, but I uh, 1,000 volts is a lot of DC volts. Um, so it does AC volts up to 750. We have um, DC amps. We have uh, 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 DC amps, and then there's there's uh, I guess this is AC amps, and then you got um, boy, there's a lot of stuff on here. I don't even know what it is. NPN, PNP. I really don't know. This is kind of like for checking uh, maybe resistors and stuff like that. Um, but what you see, it comes with everything you see here. And you, you flip it on. This one has a backlight, which is kind of cool. Um, a lot of the other ones that I have don't have the backlight, but I do like that one. But you notice it was on 20 volts DC. That's typically what I, I use this for. I just check my, uh, my battery voltage on my solar setup um, a lot of times, or I'll use it for, uh, for diagnosing that and checking. Um, but you do have to be mindful that uh, these are cheap. And the ends came off probably within the first week or two I had it. Um, and uh, uh, you got to be mindful of that. But you can't beat the price. So if you are wanting to diagnose something around your house, this is probably ultimately what you need to go with. I mean, it'll check uh, AC volts. You can stick this in a plug. You know, in a prong in the two, you know, long slots, like in a previous video I showed, and uh, check all your voltages there. Um, but uh, there's simpler 
ways to just check receptacles. Um, but this one, this one, I'd say for the for the average person, this is going to be the one you want to go with. Price is right and does everything you need it to do. Okay, one thing we didn't talk about was analog meters. Everything I showed you was digital. There are analog meters that you can get which do have their place um, because they're more sensitive. Now, analog just means it has a dial on it, and uh, um, you, you 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 might want to have one of those laying around. Okay, so. Back to the easier thing, easier two um, uh, meters that you can get that will check uh, things around the house and make life easier for you. One is, there is, and I have one somewhere, it's a little plastic plug. It just it looks like it, it has uh, three prongs on it, the two straight and the ground. You plug it in and it has three lights on it. It'll tell you if your polarity is backwards. It'll tell you if you have an active um, ground. And inspectors use that a lot of times, or you know, uh, home inspectors or, or city inspectors. It'll check you know rental properties. Um, it, you know, if there's a ground plug, it better have a ground, or it ain't gonna it ain't gonna pass. So you want to uh, maybe check into one of those. They're fairly affordable and uh, work great for diagnosing just receptacles and such. And then there's another one that uh, is about yay long, and it has a little. Uh, we'll call it amber reddish type light that illuminates when 20 or when 110 volts is applied to it. Strictly does nothing more than check 24 or 120 volts. 120 um, is uh, is what pretty much everything in your house uses. And, and again, it's it's kind of designed. You can slip it right in the uh, receptacles, and it'll tell you if there's something if you're hot or not. Um, and then I guess uh, there was one other there was one other thing I was going to point out. Hmm. Oh, um, and I don't have it with me, but I have um, a current sensor, and basically it's a it's a flashlight. You can get it. There's lots of different uh, lots of different ones, but basically it looks just like this. You hit the end of it, and the, the light turns on, and you can hold it against a wire. And if it, there's a, uh, there's a light on it and a tone, so if it lights up, then you know you have power. It's like you could hold it here if this was plugged in. You could hold it there and say, "Okay, there's power there," and it'll it'll sense that. Now it'll only sense it on the black wire. So, you know, if you're working on something and you want to see real quick if there's power on something, you can go around and just touch the edge of the wire. And I wish I would have got that out. I forgot to bring that because it's really not a meter; it's more of a sensor. But um, any event, those are really handy. Um, if you're in the basement and you're trying to trace down a wire, you know, and you can just see all the Romex and you're touching it and you're trying to see what's what, um, you want to know if, if it's wired right and, you know, the, is the white wire hot, is the black wire hot, this, this uh, wand will tell you. Uh, they make them in dual voltages, so it's low and high voltage, or, so you can do like 24 volts for, for thermostats and things of that sort, um, or the high voltage for, uh, for 110 or, or 220, but, uh, uh, or you can get one for each one, or you can get dual. Um, and I have a dual one. You just it has two lights. One's I think blue, and the other one might be red or or green or something like that. But any event, so uh, that's another nice option. So hopefully, uh, Ma as hopefully this helped you, and hopefully it helped anybody else out there that had any questions about meters. And um, this is what I use. And you know, there's there's lots of different ones out there, lots of different brands, but um, you know. Field Peace and Fluke are, are, in my opinion, top of the line. Um, but there's lots of other options out there. I mean, you can get a, a Radio Shack analog, and it'll do the same things as all these meters. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully that helped. If you like this video, subscribe. Uh, got more coming. If you uh, um, uh, click the like button, you know all that stuff. Subscribe, like it, and and, uh, and share it if you want. But thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.